What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we discuss software engineering by example. And this is our uh, reverse engineering series where we pick an app, uh, a mobile app usually, because it's a vertical view. And uh, we try to reverse engineering. We try to see uh, what are the APIs, the user experience that, uh, that the developers of this app use and, there, and and why did they design the app or or even we sometimes try to guess the back end infrastructure or architecture software architecture and why they picked this kind of decisions and we just learn from them because like software engineer you have to keep learning man that's what we do every day we learn a new thing every day by just trying by just writing new apps writing new software you learn new things that's the trick no new language will make you better software engineer nothing will make you better software engineer just actually trying with that let's just jump into it guys and uh, yeah today's twitter guess what today app is twitter really excited for this right so as you can see i just opened the app here if I click on home, uh, I have my internet now, so I'm connected. And when I do that, it will start scrolling through things, right, which is interesting. Okay. And take a look at the left hand side here, where there is a slight gray scroll bar, and it's and it's just like scrolling, right? It's just it's just going. So at one point, I believe what we what we did is we queried certain number of tweets. I would imagine we cannot just query the entire feed. We queried I don't know maybe two hundred. We can't really tell. Yeah, it's really hard. But we queried that and we start displaying them. And as as we scroll, I believe if we reach certain number, we start querying the rest. And basically. It, basic this is basic paging uh, exercise so what I want to do next is uh, I'm gonna turn off turn on flight mode here just like I don't have any internet connection let's see what 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 will happen so I don't have any internet connection so if I what I what will happen if I click on this so that's pretty cool right so this is a very seamless experience although this actually right this this opens the tweet view which will kind of require more information right it will show you the comments or or uh, i guess the tweets on this like okay, we can call it comments on this tweet right but it will naturally fail and it will not show you the comments because there is no internet connection. There is nothing that tells me that, hey, I failed to do that. What happens if I click on these likes? Obviously, that makes sense. But that's actually very nice. It immediately tells me that, hey, I you, you don't have internet connection. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. What, what happens if I click this? That's just, what can I do? Very nice user experience. What happens if I click like? See, that's pretty cool. So liking this, <laughs> I don't have internet connection yet. It seems like what Twitter does, at least in the iOS app, it first does this in the user experience as if the rest call will succeed anyway the backend call will succeed anyway. we'll just say, go ahead and do it and if it fails, we're gonna deal with it but that is nice not a lot of people do that at least uh, in YouTube if you notice if you click like it doesn't actually in immediately take that effect it asks the it, it asks uh, it asks the server, hey, I'm liking this picture. It's like a, almost a synchronous call, 
it's almost like a synchronous call. It is actually a synchronous call in the case of the YouTube. And then it will it will say, okay, succeeded. And I think it will also return the number of likes. So you will notice something really weird. Like if you like on YouTube and there are like seven likes, and then you like that and end up with 15. So you'll 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 get the latest one, which is I don't know if it's a consistent view. I wouldn't I wouldn't like to see that, but well, as long as it works. But uh, like again, it's all decisions that the companies or the developer make here. And looks like looks like this 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 call obviously failed, right? But still, the user experience here says, okay, I am detecting that there is no internet, but let me try again. I think I think there's some sort of a queue somewhere here going on. All right, so so let's uh, let's just uh, let's just go and click on this. That's nice. It knows that I like this picture. There are no numbers here, but there is like 418 likes. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, no, look at that. Interesting. You would think. All right, so it, it is kept here, 418. All right. What I wanna, want to do here is now, let's go back and turn out my internet connection. And let's see what happens. If I do that, does, oh man. See, it immediately pulled that and it remembered that I liked this picture. So it was there was like a slight bug here, but in general, there was some sort of a queue, I believe, that is going on here. Hmm. I'm getting some podcasts, notification. So yeah, so it looks like there was a queue and that request got put in the queue and then the, the user experience got updated and then whenever the internet connection resumed that like has been persisted right and then you can see that clearly here that is pretty cool so if i turn off the internet connections here you can notice that all of these requests ah nice see so that's another thing so when they requested those comments on this tweet, what happened is what what comes back? What is coming back in this query? Let's let's take a look. Uh, there is coming back the user that was commenting. There is uh, there is the text of the tweet. There is the number of likes on this comment. There is the number of comments on this comment which is not retrieved here right because i have to enable the internet connection to retrieve it there's eight likes there's another comment this and this guy just replied back and going back so there is a jeff or if you're on the other side gif that has been retrieved it knows it's a gif or a jeff right but it didn't load it because efficiency and bandwidth right only if you need it we're gonna load it for you right so i bet then the moment i turn on the internet woo, look at eventing dude i will not accept that god bless you oprah but look at that so that tells me that twitter app is listening to this internet connection that's pretty cool All right, the game is dead. <laughs> As you can see, are we internet? No, we're not in the internet connection. All right. So even the thumbnails are not getting retrieved here of the, the user's thumbnail, right? So, so what we get here, we get a list of all the comments and if i am visualizing those comments this is pretty much similar to the youtube experience here uh check out the youtube the reverse engineering 
uh, episode that we did. But uh, yeah, it looks like we don't retrieve we retrieve only the URLs of the thumbnails, and then we only load those that are in the current view if the user looking at them. This could be a default one, which is always loaded by the app. So that's why I just showed. But let's turn that back on. Look at that. Immediately we get all the thumbnails. Right, and as we co uh, we continue zooming in, show more reply. So, okay, they, that's what they are called. They are called replies. And if you click that, you can see more replies on that. And obviously it's a very interactive app. So if I do this, so let's unlike this. Ooh, ooh. So we can just unlike, we cannot unlike while offline. Huh, interesting, how about tweet? So you can retweet it, you can comment, I would bet. Look at that, it just like takes it. All right, I'm betting that it's store, it will store it somewhere in the draft. That is pretty cool. Look at that. It's trying, man. <laughs> I like, I like the dedication. All right, turn it back on. Oh, what did we do? We lost it. We lost that tweet. But all right, regardless. Okay, so it looks like, although I got my internet connection back, Twitter did not, it, it, is, it has my tweet, right? It did not lose that tweet, but that's good. But look, Twitter actually retrieves a lot of stuff for you. Right? And you're not going to go through the entire feed, obviously. But yeah, guys, uh, I th that's another thing I love about this. Look at this. Look at this. So if you go to a, a Twitter account that is active, like uh, Marquee here, MKBHD, look at that. There is some sort of a counter that is going on here. One, two, one, two, three, one. It's not even a timer. It's like it's a flip flipping timer. It's like even two seconds, sometimes three, sometimes one. It's not. It's not like doesn't look like a timer, right? Or maybe it's a sec a second by second timer. And if if that didn't change, okay, that makes sense. So maybe is it's a two second timer. And if there are new likes or tweets. It will start updating that, right? And obviously, this will only be for the active tweet that you're currently looking at. Right? It's not gonna do this for everything, I believe. That's just, just too expensive, right? So it's just too expensive to query everything in the view. And then it's like, just like, oh, 1600. So if I like this, 1632. Okay, come on. You can do it. Oh, it stopped. Come on, people are still liking that thing. There must be some streaming going on. It's like we're listening to a stream of likes that is, that is continuing. Yeah, my tweet is stuck there. I don't know if I undo that. Oh, huh, interesting. Oh, there you go. There's something coming. All right. Okay, let's like it again. That's weird. If I click on this thing, it doesn't refresh it here. Hmm. Looks like this view doesn't have a refresh, which, which is weird because this is just like I am viewing a single tweet. Why are you not updating that? I'd like this to be updated. Hmm. There must be a reason. There was always a reason. Always a reason, guys, for everything those guys make. All right. Looks like if I like it, it just stops. Is that is that really it? 
is that how it works? Is that the reason it's like, oh man, seriously? So they want you to like it because like, they want to show you that, hey, this is getting, oh no, no I was wrong. <laughs> this is updating regardless. All right, guys, I think that's all for me today. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I like making those videos. Uh, let me know if you, if you what, what other app you want to review. Check out the other content in, uh, in my YouTube channel and Instagram, uh, IGTV. I, I put this usually in IGTV, but yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.